Welcome back to another Played Lately. I haven't played many games lately. I don't feel like I have. I usually play a lot more than this. But something is new and that is I have actually now uh, organized all of my systems, all of my consolers. They are now neatly packed in uh, plastic cases with a name on all of the cases. So it's such a neat and tidy system right now. And I was inspired to hook up my old PlayStation 3 because the game that I feel a bunch of nostalgia for, actually, is this game. <laughs> Tales of Exilia 2, everyone. I think I have said this before, but I feel like Tales of Exilia 2, this game, is my favorite Tales of game. It was actually released in 2012 in Japan and in the rest of the world in 2014. And it is of course a game in the Tales of series developed and published by Bandai Namco. In Tales of Exilia 2, you play as Luger who meets this small girl on a train that gets hijacked by terrorists. It is such a good JRPG where you explore a ton of open areas, collect stuff everywhere and you watch the best skits in the entire Tales of series. And through the story you will meet up with the characters from Exilia 1, this game. But I don't know, I just ended up liking number 2 more than number 1. Not sure why, but this is more like a modern style and setting. This is more like an old medieval-ish hundreds of years ago setting. More like a fantasy setting. I don't know why, but I like Tales of Exilia 2 more. And I can confirm that it is kind of confusing to jump into this story if you don't know what happened in this game. But they explain it regardless in this game. And as a matter of fact, I jumped into Exilia 2 before I played Exilia 1. So in my opinion, you don't have to have played number one in order to enjoy number two. <laughs> These are not in production anymore, PlayStation 3 games and such. So I don't know, you can maybe find it on eBay or yeah, I would say eBay maybe. But I bought this on GameStop back in the day, so many years ago. I was so obsessed with the game that I even painted this back in 2015, it says. The graphics still look good, but it definitely qualifies by now to get a remake. Both of these games. I talked about that in my moving vlog uh, a couple of videos back. But I feel like these games deserve a remake by now. I recommend these games a ton, and if you ever find them, <laughs> make sure you check them out, pick them up. Highly recommend. This is my favorite Tales of game. And speaking of Tales of, yes, I am currently playing, I mean, I tried yesterday, the demo for Tales of Arise. Damn, this game looks so good. I play it on my Xbox Series X. It is also uh, coming out for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, PC, whatever, but you know, never Switch. I don't get that. Big games never coming out for the Switch, I don't know. Switch is just turning out to not be a very powerful system or something. We need a Switch Pro, okay? But yeah, uh, so far I have nothing to say about Tales of Arise other than I'm actually now looking forward to it because the graphics are just really enjoyable to look at and the world, the little world that I have run around in so far in the demo is just my style and I am hoping that this will be a very good and big Tales of game. I'm hoping for that and I have it pre-ordered, don't worry, and I will talk more about it when the full game is out. But so far, check out the demo, but if you want to go into Tales of Arise spoiler free or just take it all in at once, wait for the full game. Because a demo is only like a teaser. I, I feel like I didn't get what I wanted out of a demo, you know? It's not like the full game in any way. It only makes me more hungry for the full game, is what I'm trying to say. Check it out. Okay, I am going to talk about some more games in this video, but this is Played Lately, a uh, sort of series on my channel where I uh, take the liberty to uh, do whatever I want. I want to show off some packages now in a small section and then I will talk more about some other games. So Nintendo sent me a bunch of Mario Golf Super Rush stuff, like a um, bottle, Mario Golf. But yeah, anyways, Mario Golf Nintendo of Norway sent this to me. Thank you so very much. 
I am currently borrowing this to neighbor Stefan. I played for five hours and then he was like, do you really have that game? Oh my God, can I borrow it? And I was like, yeah, sure, borrow it. I never say no to a neighbor that wants to borrow a game because I know for a fact that I can borrow anything from him as well. It is obviously a Nintendo game with Mario and all of his friends playing golf together. This game just released, it was released in June. And it has all the modes for single player and multiplayer that you can think of. Just tons of ways to play golf, basically. It has a story mode also, where you can walk around a bit, which appeals to me for some reason, but truthfully, I'm not very keen on golf. I have never been. Because this is essentially a golf game with a Mario themed paint across it. But that being said, it is actually a good golf game if you are into golf to begin with. It is surprisingly technical and complex, but I want to say that you have to like golf in general in order to enjoy this. But it looks and sounds good as expected from a Nintendo title. Neighbor Stefan loves it, <laughs> absolutely adores it, but it is unfortunately uh, not for me, but it is for a bunch of people. Okay, another game that was sent to me is a Wonder Boy Asha in Monster World. What can I say about this game? Only played it a little, but it seems to me that it is a cute 2D side-scrolling platformer that would be perfect for any kid. And by that I mean I think it's more appealing to smaller kids because of the difficulty. It is actually very easy. Too easy for me, unfortunately. <laughs> And besides, I'm not very into side-scrolling 2D platformers, and I've said that before. <laughs> but I like the game. I don't hate it. This I could actually give away to a kid, if I ever come across a kid that needs a game. I'm not an aunt yet, not a mom yet. I've never had kids in my life. I've always been the kid. <laughs> But anyways, thank you to the publisher and developer for sending that over to me, along with a poster of Asha. It's almost Isha. Actual cute artwork, though. PlayStation VR required. Solaris Off-World Combat. I don't have VR. Thank you. I will give it away. More things from uh, Isha in Wonder World. <laughs> Asha, I mean. Undercup things. And also a mug. And stickers. Fun thing, cute thing actually. Another one of those. So yeah, thank you. Publishers of, uh, of Monster World Asha in something world. Wonder Boy, maybe. <laughs> in Monster World, thank you. Okay, so this is the package. Um, that is the reason for the video. You know, I, I am dedicated to this channel in a way that I will only open packages when I'm actually recording. But this one has been so tempting because it is from Bandai Namco. But I don't know what they're sending me this time. <gasps> it is the game that I have already bought. <laughs> I was planning on talking about this in this video. Okay, so a bunch of Scarlet Nexus cards. The monsters are so unique in Scarlet Nexus. Yes. Yes. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, so I can talk about Scarlet Nexus a tiny bit while I... Is this a joke? <laughs> I can feel what it is. Legit cute. So cool. Oh, Xbox bag. Oh, so good. Guys, I am speechless. These are my favorite colors as well. Pink, black, and blue. I love it. Legit happy. Whoa. Oh, this is too good. Just a bunch of Scarlet Nexus things. And what can I say so far about Scarlet Nexus? I'm going to say what I always say about every new game is that recently I haven't found the time to truly sit down with it. As I always say, I feel like I'm on repeat on Isha Gaming. I say the same thing in every single video, but with my broken English as well. Lord, I will use it forever. Thank you so much, Bandai Namco. Bandai Namco, I freaking love you. <laughs> 
Okay, so that was the recruit kit from freaking Scarlet Nexus. And yeah, I was planning on opening the packages and then move on to the next uh, section of the video, which I have in my notes. And that was actually that I was going to talk about these two games. But actually, I'll talk about that game later because this is starting to be a longer video. That is uh, Monster Hunter Stories 2. I don't have too much to say about it anyway. I'll talk more about it later, maybe. Uh, so far, I am trying to like it. I'm trying to get into it, but it seems like I'm not getting hooked because I feel like the camera angles in the game, they are not good. Uh, so I'm just really annoyed at the camera angle so far. And I know there are some camera settings, but it just auto adjusts to this weird angle that I can't make sense of. But I was also going to talk a tiny bit about Scarlet Nexus. As you can see, I bought it physical. And after I bought it physical, I got the review code from Bandai Namco. And apparently also the freaking recruit box. Thank you again. But anyways, this is a new release. It was also released in June, just as Mario Golf. But I'm just late at everything. It is now out for all modern systems, but not the Switch, which is so annoying. Like I mentioned, that the Switch always misses out on big releases for some reason, like this game and Tales of Arise. It's like, if you want to play these games and you only have a Switch and you watch my channel because I talk a lot about Switch and you only own the Switch, you're gonna have to end up getting a PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series X or something in order to play these games. And I'm sorry that I'm bringing up games that you can't play if you do not have uh, the systems for that. But anyways, this game has a demo out, so you can also try that. And in Scarlet Nexus, you can either play as the boy or the girl. I am currently actually playing as the boy because I like his combat style more than the girl's combat style. She is more uh, kinetic all the way, but he is more like swords and a bit of kinetic powers. I'm not 100% hooked. <laughs> again, because on a personal note, I am actually working way more than I should right now. I am editing a bunch of videos for other channels and this time I do it more than I have previously done. So I actually have very little to no spare time and let alone the spare time that I have, I don't feel relaxed enough to play a game uh, after work. I just wanna, you know, have no screens nothing because I work as a video editor and I, I turn insane when I sit with a screen for like a 10 hour session in edit and I'm editing other people's videos and stuff like that. I like the work, it's fine, it's good, but it's just that it can be too much and right now I'm in that time where it's starting to feel like a bit too much and I need to step a bit back and find the time to actually sit down and enjoy what I find to be enjoyable. This is a game and also this is a game that I'm just waiting for a time for me to truly relax and take a game fully in because they deserve it. This game deserves it, this game deserves it. They deserve the time and dedication to truly take them in and not just feel like I'm button pressing away or something. I actually want to pay attention to the stories and um, I don't know, it's just hard recently because uh, too many things stressed out and stuff. Lord. But in other news recently, I bought roller skates. I'm gonna try and learn to roller skate, I guess. But I haven't found the time for that either. Other than that, I'm playing actually a lot of Atelier online. Yeah, I play that in bed. And a uh, friend of mine moved in to the guest room, Kaya. She's having a midlife crisis. <laughs> Kidding. And I actually want to wrap up this video by giving a huge shout out to my Patreons. Today I'm giving a shout out to Tobias Eisenworth, PDS301, Norbert Vidal, Alex Grave, Paula Buick, Dai and Guyen, Vanessa Laftland, Rebecca, Steve Smith, Amber Roche, Eumir Abada, Dustin Haisley, and so many more. A bunch of more shout outs are coming later. Thank you so much for supporting me on Patreon. Guys, I actually now take back everything I said in the vlog. I want to do this full time, but it's not possible <laughs> right now. I wish I had more time to do Isha Gaming, I really do. Uh, that is my passion, that is my drive, that is what I uh, feel in my soul. <laughs> in my heart and soul, so to speak. But uh, we'll get back to that later, I guess. 
thank you so much for watching and I will definitely and I hope so I will see you later check out Scarlet Nexus maybe I'm trying to find a time to play it <laughs> sorry so sorry okay bye